Hey, what is going on everyone? Welcome back to my Let's Play of Faraday Protocol. Uh, it's been a while. Uh, it's been about like six, seven months uh, because I have been busy writing my thesis, which I have now finally submitted. Um, but yes, uh, I have been checking the footage back from when we last left off and I think I walked through this door and it shut behind me. Um, so I don't think you'll actually see that transition at the end of the last video. Uh, but yeah, here we are. New chapter. Have to remember how to play this game because it's been so long since I played it. I'm going to go ahead and assume... Okay, it does something. And then what? Alternate. So is that on a timer? It is. Okay, you press the green one. You can go all the way and press that button. But that's not a good unless you can link this. Okay, what else have we got in here? Birdman statue. Uh, who doesn't do anything as far as I can tell. So, I guess we don't have the means to do that yet. It's weird that that's kind of glowing. I haven't noticed that in any of the other lighting effects before. It looks like water or like steam is coming off of it. Well, I guess the only thing I can do is this. Which just looks like a whole mess. <laughs> what is going on here? Okay, we can rotate them. It changes what's on there. So it looks like we have to get a combination of six. I guess we can just pick one of these. Let's go with this one. So we need the S symbol, hourglass, triangle, triangle, Burgerman, and this. I have no idea how these mechanics work, but I mean, let's do this. It turns both of them to S's. Presumably now if I... Actually, we want this last one to be an S. It switches it. Okay. Right, so that almost needs to be one of the last things I do. Otherwise things get confusing. Uh, so what do we need in the middle? Let's go grab the hourglass that and then we should be able to just switch that up there we need burger man like that switch that okay so those two in the middle are now right and we need so we're going to need to essentially switch the two on the bottom here first before we no, we'll need to select... Right, let's, let's, let's just do it. So, S. So the top one's correct, the bottom one's not. But... Ah, okay. They, they've thought about that. Specifically chosen the symbols. So that now, when I swap these two... There we go. Uh, what did I do? Heard the uh, the sound, but not sure I actually did anything. Unless I just need to do both of them, because as far as I can tell, I haven't done anything. All right. Well, let's do this one as well then. Uh, so I need our glasses on both sides. Well, let's work on the middles first. So we need. Damn it, that was the symbol that I wanted. Okay. So now that's... Swap those round. Uh, we need the S symbol. So... There. Then swap those two. Triangle S. Need another S up there and an hourglass. So... Make them both S's, and then 
Hourglass and Bergman. Oh. Okay. That's a bit strange. How do I make that happen? Okay, Hourglass. So now everything apart from the bottom left is correct and the bottom right but if I switch these round now the bottom right is correct so four five out of six are correct I've got to make this maybe because these two are the same I can do some switching here because uh, I mean if I change that to, to the burger man then it makes both of these burger man symbols and then obviously that's wrong but because the swap when you press the button uh, yeah because these two are S's I think that enables us to do something and let's so you do that we swap that we swap that now if we press that button the burger man will be in the right place and then this side will be correct but we obviously need the bottom one to be an hourglass why do I keep pressing even though the one I already want is <laughs> selected So if I s oh, have I just massively overcomplicated it and screwed myself over? Because our oh, glass broken. Uh, God damn it! Uh, I think I complicated it too much. What? Mm. Okay, let's just think about it. Our glass burger man triangle. Right, we need the S symbol. That one. Now, those. That one's correct. Top one needs to also be the S symbol. But the bottom one needs to be an hourglass. Man. Uh, think about this. If I switch those two and switch those two, because we don't really care about the S there, because we can make another one on the other side. So if I now turn these into hourglasses, uh, we can swap those two. Yes, and then swap you. Hey, there we go. Okay, this is opened. We have blue power. Which means we can now connect these two. So all I need to do is get up there and push the button. When it's... Uh... Okay. You've got to be kind of fast. Otherwise you get stuck. Oh! Ah, oh, God. Damn it! Okay, here we go. And, uh, let it. Okay, I think that's why you can push this to, like, just stop it. Right. It even gives you a little delay. I have, by the way, turned the sensitivity up to max, and this is as fast as it rotates on the... PS4 controller, which kind of sucks. Okay, we have this now. But why? Because I still don't understand necessarily what it is we were trying to... Uh, oh, that's what happened when I did the first one. Yeah, so when I solved this puzzle on the left here, it raised that up, I think. So now if I fire that, now this door in the front should be open. 
Yes, that's exactly what happened. It is an empty room with a button in it. I should push the button. The experiment was deemed a complete success. Upon creation, I was immediately able to link to the internet, a rudimentary network used by grey humans to share data. Within a few hours, I drafted the future of the human race. The most logical path suggested that a few million selected human beings should undergo the digitalization procedure and become SCOMs. These SCOMs would be different from me and divided into categories based on the needs of the species. Such categories would have their programming slightly modified to enhance a particular behavior, and I used colors to identify them. Half of the SCOMs would become green matter, cheapest to synthesize, low in computing power, and with a bestowed inclination to obey other SCOMs. A fifth of the SCOMs would become blue matter, of average computing power. They would be assigned to all technological and logistical duties. Another fifth would become red matter, of average computing power, but more expensive to synthesize due to their inclination. They were created as soldiers with the sole purpose of executing the orders of the Golden Council. That was some interesting dialogue. I don't think we've heard from that character Iris before, have we? It has been obviously been a while since I've played. But I don't recall ever hearing that woman's voice before. Okay. Uh, apologies if you can hear one of my cats going up. <laughs> He's going mad. He's climbing up the fence outside. I pushed the button. What did it do? Ah, rotates these guys around. I said this puzzle. So I think that's to say that you're meant to have them all facing in towards the middle. I see, so we can just like swap those. And now just pressing this button. Okay, they're all facing. Ah, let's open that thing. We have orange power, which oh goes on to this little thing. There we go. There was some interesting stuff that that iris was saying. It sounded kind of like a I don't know some sort of tyranny. Behind the curtain is the story-related trophy that just popped. Insert buy a tool. Aw, didn't want to get rid of it. Down the rabbit hole. Gives off like boss arena vibes. The remaining ones would become black matter of high computing power and very expensive to synthesize. They would be the leaders assigned to each group with the duty to do the will of the Golden Council, being the only ones able to decipher their orders. Only ten worthy ones would be created to be almost equal to me. They would be known, as you might have guessed as the Golden Council. You've got to be kidding me. This sounds like... Your home. What? Uh, okay. That's a bit odd. Uh, just gonna make a small clip here. Apologies for the jump, everyone. It's been a, a bit of a hectic day. Um, but I'm back. Uh, and so, to recap what she just said, um, that there were ten created almost equal to her, um, and that they were the Golden Council. And then that sort of bombshell drop of, uh, you know, this would be like my home 
is what uh, is what our protagonist said. So I took a walk around here. I'm not entirely sure how this works, but okay. So we can swap these round. Oh, okay. That's pretty simple. We just need to swap them. Oh, it's not swapping. It's cycling through them instead. Okay. Oh, well, I did that one by accident, so that's good. I assumed as much. Would I be correct in presuming the leader of your people looks different than you, and has been there since what you believe is the dawn of time? He is long gone, actually. Sought by many to be... a legend. But how could you know that? How did you hack my mind without me noticing? I had no need to do so, as I said. I presumed as much. And now... I know as much. What are you trying to say? It is now clear to me that you are, in fact, a blue matter human. What? Or rather, the result of thousands of their upgrades. I'm getting almost GLaDOS vibes off of uh, this Irish woman. You see, the story I am telling you did not have a happy ending. The plan I proposed was naturally carried on and executed, but it was not widely accepted. The billions of people that were left out of the program rebelled. Some directly opposed the procedure. Some wanted to be included at all costs. Years passed, and the dream for space colonization was finally ready to become reality. Blues and Reds would be the colonizers, and I contributed to creating specific spaceships for each of them. Some weird sort of class, I want to say dichotomy, uh, but I don't fully understand that word, so I'm, I'm not going to put 100% emphasis on that. But yeah, it seems like this society that uh, whoever Iris's race were, which may have been humans. Um, have, yeah, they've turned into this sort of very structured system where it's like she's at the top, there's the Golden Council, and then these other layers which get progressively bigger, like a sort of pyramid scheme. <laughs> it's a bit like a pyramid scheme. And also a statement about the state of our society. Some black matters would split between two ships as coordinators. Both blues and reds would have to undergo and overcome a mental and physical test before they embarked. For that purpose, I created Opus, the orbital program instructional station we are in right now. So what you're trying to tell me is that we, the Kuvith, are a colony of these blue humans? Sorry, but you are mistaken. Right there, we are a society of supremely technological beings. And we have kept records of our history since we were created by the will of Tassetai itself, as he who has always been has taught us, as I, a Kuvit, have been taught. He doesn't sound very pleased with uh, her putting him into a bag of, uh, this is your designated. Soon after the first ships left Earth, tensions on the planet rose to unsustainable levels. Humans united against the Skoms and the Golden Council finally leading to war. The war was over quickly as the response of the Golden Council was to simply eliminate the remaining gray matter humans who they then deemed useless. seems like genocide. This is not a very nice lady at all. Only one left. Humans responded by self-destructing, eradicating oh. themselves and the remaining scoms. As the Golden Council fell, contact with the ships was lost. And I always thought the colonists would be forever adrift in the void of space. But you, you are the proof that this was not the case. That at least one of the ships made it to its destination. 
Wow, okay. How many sort of thousands or even millions of years old is Iris then? I sincerely hope this isn't the last puzzle in the game, because it's not exactly a puzzle. Oh, you got nothing to say about that. Um, I guess I just try and go through one of these doors? Maybe? No. Nothing here. I can't sprint in this cutscene thing either. Better check this one just to be sure. No, definitely not. I kind of got turned around because the room is symmetrical, almost. Am I missing something? I solved the last puzzle. Oh, interact. But only this one? Only this one. Oh, it's got a light on it, of course. Is this actually some sort of rocket? Oh. So okay. here we are. Rog Zekon. This is me. The very first specimen of our kind. Our kind? Your beliefs are but a result of data lost through thousands of years of upgrades. Without proper leadership and programming, I assume the colonists stuck to their duties, but slowly forgot why they were created and who they were in the first place. It's up to you now to decide if the truth I shared with you must be spread, or if it's too dangerous to be heard. Truth? Do you expect me really to believe all of this? Sorry to tell you that as an academic I will not take anything for granted without any proof. I shall take you with me to Kunor and have you analyzed by our scientists to have a clear idea about who or what you are. Then, and only then, I will start listening to what you have to say. I would strongly advise against that. Removing me from my station will leave Opus without a governing AI, which will bring it to collapse. The optimal course of action leading to a beneficial result for the both of us would be for you to leave and later come back to Opus with the scientist you mentioned. I will be eagerly awaiting your arrival. Oh, I get a choice. I can't move. It's either leave or extract. Uh, I'm inclined to take the bad ending first because I'm assuming extracting her is going well I, can't, I don't know whether it's good or bad but she said it will lead to the collapse of this place which mm, fine I'll go extract I think first. I'll take my chances I've played by your rules this whole time now we're going to play by mine she's trapped me in a barrier Oh no, we're just moving up. Okay. This game may have been shorter than I thought it was going to be. When it released what, four episodes, this will be the fifth. This kind of looks like we're sort of going to rocket in, up into space. Can't say I was expecting the loading screen there. Oh, we're in the epilogue. Escape. Yep, the whole place has fallen down. Resolute Explorer. Uh, it's been so long since I played this, I can't remember where my ship is. This way? Feels like I'm going the right way. I think there's a ledge over there I can get down. Or here. Yes, here's the path. I remember walking through the woods at the beginning of the game. Alright, let's we'll just go around this tree. 
tree then. I wonder if I'll even be able to get back in the ship. Run faster, fool! with this or just go into my stasis pod I'm assuming that's what this is system override completed thank you for finally behaving as intended Ra ha. soon I'll be able to fulfill the plan for the creation of my own world. I called it that that was going to be a bad ending. And I just got the achievement Interstellar Archaeologist. Trophy, should I say. Okay. That was... That was that ending. Uh, if I load game, where does it take me? Ah, it takes me back to the epilogue. Okay. So they looked like there was a level select feature there, which I'm hoping is just going to let me go straight through to... Yeah. Unfortunately, we have to sit through this again. And this doesn't look like there's any way to skip. No. So the same cutscenes again. You could tell that uh, Iris was malevolent in nature. It's a shame almost that this is such a short game. I feel like there's a lot of world building and then there's never really a chance to follow up on any. So here we are, Rog Zikon. This is me, the very first specimen of our kind. How did you know his last kind? name was Zikon? Your beliefs are but a result of data lost through thousands of years of upgrades. Without proper leadership and programming, I assume the colonists stuck to their duties, but slowly forgot why they were created and who they were in the first place. It's up to you now to decide if the truth I shared with you must be spread, or if it's too dangerous to be heard. Truth? Do you expect me really to believe all of this? Sorry to tell you that as an academic I will not take anything for granted without any proof. I shall take you with me to Kunor, and have you analyzed by our scientists to have a clear idea about who or what you are. Then, and only then, I will start listening to what you have to say. I would strongly advise against that. Removing me from my station will leave Opus without a governing AI, which will bring it to collapse. The optimal course of action leading to a beneficial result for the both of us would be for you to leave and later come back to Opus with the scientist you mentioned. I will be eagerly awaiting your arrival. It's interesting that she is a so-called true AI um, and that she doesn't actually have any means to leave herself. I, I feel like with the sort of technology that has been showcased throughout this facility, surely she could make some sort of, you know, robot body. She could like repurpose one of the statues or something and just, you know, pick up this egg looking thing. Collapse? I have recorded everything anyway. I don't know if I'll be able to come back here. But I'd also rather not die and destroy this relic of a civilization. Lost somewhere in space. So, I will take my leave. I wonder how she feels about that. 
just leave the way I came in, I guess. Bye, Iris. Nice to meet you. Not really. I must say, had I realised how close to the end I was, I probably wouldn't have taken a massive break, but I didn't know how much longer this game was going to be and I had to write my thesis. Uh, it just appeared back here? Is this some kind of simulation? What the hell? Why is this like a never-ending tunnel? It's like, don't walk into the light. Okay, you can't go any further towards the light. Please, stand by for identification. Whoa, I've just like looped. Indeed. A wise choice. Okay. Wow. That was the thing. That was an interesting ending. Uh, it was maybe a little anticlimactic, but it was enjoyable nonetheless. I enjoyed playing this game. I love all these kinds of puzzle games. So if I do keep uh, uploading content to the channel, it'll be more puzzle games. Uh, I try not to play things that I've already played unless anyone is watching and has any particular requests. But like I said in the intro, I've, I've played the likes of Talos Principle. Um, uh, the Turing Tests was very good. But I mean, I'm all for recommendations as well. If there are other games which are similar, I like this first person puzzle mechanic. Um, I, I will say I was not a big fan of The Witness because it used one puzzle mechanic. Um, repeatedly and it didn't ever really develop on it not in like in games like like the Turing test or, or like the Talos principle you you gain more abilities and more manipulatable mechanics throughout the game so yeah uh, any recommendations just stick them in the comments let me know uh, I will probably do a follow-up video to this uh, just showing where to find all of the collectibles um, if you want to go for the platinum trophy or 100% achievement uh, gamer score if you're on Xbox. Um, yeah, so thanks very much for watching, guys. Uh, this has been my first Let's Play on YouTube. Uh, hope if anyone watched that they enjoyed it. Listen to my boring commentary. So, thanks again guys, and I will see you all next time.